Hi, I'm Joel Goodman, and this is a help video on Allegretto, grade four. Um, I'm just going to work through it slowly. I haven't really played it properly before, so I'll make mistakes, and as I make mistakes, I shall um, show you how I fix it, because many of you may make similar mistakes. So, let's look at the beginning with the right hand. Stop. I just want to check the fingers there. Now, one, two, that's really important. After that, it's quite easy. One, three, two, four, three, five. Now, you may have noticed I said that really quickly. It's a pattern that comes up a lot in piano. When you're playing thirds, you keep your hand in a neutral position, not stretched. Uh, and, and you can uh, get through them. So it, the first one's out of position, and then we're in position. Okay. Rhythm wise, I use the word cappuccino. Cappu um, cappuccino, cappuccino tea, coffee tea. Okay. Um, let's finish the last line. So here we go. I'll pick up from that last note. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, yeah, I thought that was wrong, but that is right. It just sounded really strange. So D sharp there, second note of line three. I'll do it again. All right, so I just want to check the fingers, but the rhythms, I like the rhythms in this piece. They're quite straightforward. They're not jazzy. They are a nice to learn classical rhythm, so. Now, on this bit. I'm, even, the thumb is written in, but I'm just gonna circle it because it's ever so important. The thumb there is gonna allow you to land on B with finger five. And then you're most likely to use fingers one, two, three. So you'll be on four on E. Okay, let's have a little look at that. And then, it is easier if you do what the book says and change to finger three on E. So, here's page one with the right hand. Left hand uh, looks like a bit of a uh, Ber Alberti bass pattern. Just checking you can see my left hand. Good, you can. Right, so the key thing is keep the low note down. That's important. I'll do it again. on the thumb, close the gaps, so there's your thumb, close the gaps, we start again, F sharp is the high note, now it says 2 and 5, but I prefer 1 and 5, so me personally, I'm going to use 1 and 5, but if your teacher wants you to use 2 and 5, then that is what you will do, because they're teaching you the technique that they feel is best. So one and five. Then we move. Now I follow the fingers. So let's just play hands together and see if it causes any problems. Now what have we got here? Fingers are going wrong. Uh, 
Um, so I just got. I just start. I'm going to start again actually because I even went wrong in the first phrase. So I just got to watch out. Now I noticed I, I prefer doing finger five here, so I am going to do finger five um, on these low notes. Again, you you know do what your teacher says there. It's just my choice and what works best for my hand. I'm going to start again. messed up the ending there and so from there we land on four and here we close the gaps the left hand we close the gap and let's just so I'll just do those two again no still the left hand was messing up it's, it's not wanting to go the right way it's got to it's got to close the gaps and move towards the thumb there, I need to do it again, it's just not coming very naturally. Okay, that's the outline of page one. Let's have a little look at page two, the right hand. Start the phrase again. I'm going from the last bar of line one. One, two, okay. So I'm going to use four, five, four. I'm writing the fingers in here. Make sure you can see. Uh, yep, you can see that. Four, five, four. It caught me out. Four, five, four. We three on the G sharp, and the one it must go on that A to get to the top of the scale, finger five. Let's try that again. One, two, three, four, rest. Now, rest. Now that's a funny little scale, it's sort of in, in pairs there. Dun, but to begin with, just get the scale. when you've got the hang of it, the, the second note just a little shorter, or a little detached. Oh, change the speed. So we got uh, rest. Okay. Carrying on. So we've landed on to line three. So. Nice scale there, so I okay, so we'll just run through that. Yeah, it's just a scale, just watch out for the D sharp. Okay, and it's important to get the ones on the the E's and the A's. E's and the A's. Okay. Rest. And then we should get rest. Repeated material. Okay, at the top there, five, four, three. And then I think we've got repeated material. This is all repeated, isn't it? Now, what I will do though is I will turn back. And I am going to write some of the fingers on just so that I can remember what I'm doing from page one. Because otherwise I will invent new fingers and I will go wrong. Okay, so I've done that. They don't do it in the book because it saves print, you see. Uh, and probably they think people are supposed to be cleverer than I am and just remember it, but I can't remember these things, so 
I just turn back, copy up my finger numbers, it takes two seconds. That way I know I'm not going to have any problems. Right, so that gets me to the end of the page. Here's the page two with the right hand. One, two. No, that begin that should have I, I need to write some finger numbers on this beginning bit. So we're going uh, three, four, three, two, and the one goes under. I sometimes like to draw a little arrow like that to remind myself to go under. Let's try again. Just do that scale again. Rest. One, two, pause. Back to tempo. towards the thumb. A lot of rests. Same. Okay, so that's easy. Continuing on line two. Rest. Just got to learn the chord shapes. B, F sharp, A. Here, slide the thumb onto the G sharp. Okay, practice these things so that the move gets easy. Okay, and then... Do you know what? I prefer, and I'm going to change this, on the F sharp and the A, I prefer to use 1 and 2 because we'll use 1 and 2 on the next F sharp and A. Now this I agree with, and I'm going to put 1 and 2 on that F sharp and A. Okay, and then we eventually get a chord of E major, E G sharp B. And the rest, I think, is the same Page one, I'll just do a quick check back. Right in my fingers, I'm going to use a five and a five. Oh, I don't need to write there. And a five. I get to the E, I'm also using a five. And A sharp, C, two and four. Okay, and then the last little bit is different. Okay. Just making sure we hold the low note down. Here's the left hand, so page two. Rest, rest, rest. Rest, rest, rest. Rest, one, two, one. Rest, rest, rest. Rest, one, two. Rest, one, two, one, two. page together to what, find out the tricky bits. Is that right? No, I did it wrong. My two and the four just went to stupid notes. It should have closed up the gap. C sharp. I'm just going to write C sharp because I don't want to do that again whilst I'm recording myself. Okay, so the move. All right, add a little pause there. E to B. Got to get there fast, in time. Start the page again. Better. Now the rhythm here, let's see. Now if we've just gone one, 
Coffee, coffee. Okay. That's the rhythm. So we've just got, I'll just go for the beginning of the line two. Okay, so that's the sound of it. Okay, I was hesitating there because of that D sharp, I wasn't sure. So let's have a look now at the last page, right hand. One, two. Okay, that's sort of straightforward. It's tricky to play fast, but it, it makes sense. So the rhythms, coffee, coffee, one, two. Carrying on, oh, I think I've gone wrong. Line three, yeah, it goes up. So now I'm worried I've done them all wrong. I've got to do the whole thing again now. <laughs> this is what happens. Sometimes you think, did I do that the whole way? So now it changes, so we get an A. Okay, then we have a rest. So that means we go rest, play, 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 play. Okay, let's just check the fingers there. This is the same as last time. This scale is repeated, so it starts on an E, just like the line above. Three needed to be on G sharp, which it was. Four, four on A and four on D. I'm just writing in the same fingers as the line above. Okay, so here goes again with line four. Rest. Now chord, chord, chord. So those chords. I did one, two, five, and then I did so one, two, five, one, two, four, and one, three, five, one, two, four, one, three, five. When you're learning chords at grade four, they're, they're hard. This is a big part of getting into intermediate level piano, playing three or maybe more notes at the same time, or if you include both hands, five notes. So it's quite hard to get your hands ready. So sometimes you might want to write the letters next to it, uh, just to, while you're practicing it. So here are those chords again. Chord, 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 cappuccino, 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 cappuccino. Chord, 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 and there's four notes there. A, C sharp, E, A, as an arpeggio. The ending, five, three, two, one. Five, three, two, one. It's just moving between the two positions. So here goes with the page, the right hand. Fingers. Let's practice that again. Oh dear. Right, 
here we go again. So line three, I'll do the beginning of line three. Rest. Rest. Chord, chord, chord. You may have spotted. I did the second chord wrong, chord, I didn't use the thumb. Okay, left hand. Close the gaps. Okay, when I say close the gaps, I mean just bring the hand to a neutral position. Chord, 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 rest. Chord, 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 same shape, once you've got shape, it's easy. Chord, 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 rest, chord, 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 rest, chord, rest. Octaves, D, E, A. Octaves, more than D, D sharp, E. We go way down to an octave of A. Is my, are my hands just in view still? Nice big drums. Imagine an orchestra, the timpani drums. Dum, 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 dum. That's the big ending here. So, let's try this page hands together. Okay, here we go. Right, uh, I'm just I'm gonna write three below that F sharp. Bar, the first bar, here we go. I suppose that one of the tricky things is just going through these different rhythms. Remember, what, like if I take from the line three, my drink names: cappuccino, cappuccino, coffee, coffee, play. So here, this one. If what would I say here? I say I don't have words for this kind of rhythm. Um, coffee, coffee. Hmm. Dum da da cappuccino. I don't know what to say for that bit. Dum da dum dum. Please, uh, let's let's make something up there. So, cappuccino, cappuccino, coffee, coffee. Please, what? One, one more, please. One more cappuccino, cappuccino, cappuccino. And then we're off to the word tea, 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 tea. Please, one more cappuccino, 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 tea. T and then what have we got? Tea, tea, tea. Cappuccino, 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 tea, tea, tea. All right, um, I hope that helps a bit. Um, thank you for requesting this video. Um, you're doing really well with your piano. If you've made it to grade four, that's further than most people get. And if you've made it this far in the video, that's further than most people get. Uh, so keep practicing, keep playing, and I look forward to hearing you guys getting onto these higher grades. I hope that helped. See you.